Alright, before I start, this is the identical same structure that common 67P is. You see this round ball? And then it comes up and there's this stalk right here. Now, I did a video on this. That is a tendon ball, and that is what common 67P is. Here's the video that I did. You can go up and look it up on, my, um, on uh, YouTube. It's common 67P confirmed organic by NASA, which it is. It's confirmed organic, and I'm going to show you what they had to say about it. All right, you saw comma 67P and you saw my thing, and there's comma 67P again. It's identical, same structure. No question whatsoever. Arteries and veins are up in here. The same thing on the one I just showed you a second ago. All right, this is the Philae Lander out on Rosetta. They did, uh, the Rosetta uh, mission uh, for comma 67P. And they picked up, here's what it says. This is... Uh, they looked at two large dust grains and curiously nicknamed Kenneth and Julia are subject of a scientific paper in Nature captured in May, October 2015, analyzed with Rosetta's onboard mass spectrometer. Each of these grains contained carbon-based molecules bound together in very large structures. They were chunks of meat similar to the organic matter found in carbonaceous chondrite meteors here on Earth because those are also chunks of meat. Our, our, anal analysis, our analysis reveals carbon in a far more complex form than expected. So complex, we can't give it a proper formula or a name. The name is LIFE, L-I-F-E. The formula is exactly identical to LIFE. All right, NASA says that the meteorites are similar to what they're seeing on this uh, Comma 67P. Well, they're saying because this was a, a lung. This was a lung that came through Earth's atmosphere and smelted, just like you would put it through a foundry, and it came in, and the vein and artery, I mean, the, the, the artery and the vein are showing up right here. It's just the way it works. They cut it in half, and this is etched with uh, uh, acids, and it shows up the crystalline uh, matrix of the, of the minerals and so forth. But the thing to take away from this is the red and the black. Red is always the artery, and black is always the vein. And that's what happens, and it's just what happens. And, there, and, and I, every one I have looked at, all of the meteorites that I have looked at, coming through into this earth, have the same things. They have veins and arteries. You could take that. And what happens with this vein and artery is the blood that's in there, it's called uh, ferrous oxides, and what happens is that they, they're metal complexes. They chelate. When they chelate, the metal complex also contains the hemoglobin, which contains the DNA. That could be extracted right now with the DNA. I don't know how they came up with this conclusion. This is the oldest solid material in the solar system. This is a, a, an arterial um, blood supply. Now these here are also, that is blood. They, they call them chondrules. That's blood. That's exactly what it is, is blood. There's another meteor they call it. This is, that's right there is, I believe, the artery. Uh, I mean, I'm sorry, the vein. The black part is the vein. That would be where the artery was. They turn clear or they here, wait a second, I have one here. Uh, they turn clear or they turn, hold on. You see this one here? That's the black, it would have been black. It's been all scratched out from playing around. But that normally would be black totally black and the ar artery side blows out because there's no uh, um, valves in there, there's no vein valves. Uh, I mean, yeah, the vein has valves so that it, it always collects the black inside of blood, which is the FeO2 blood. FeO3 is on this side and there's no restrictions in the artery so it blows out. But all these things have the same thing. And this here, uh, there was blood under here somewhere, right here. You know, if I put water on there, watch, if I squirt that with water in about two seconds, it'll turn red again because it, it, it rehydrates. There's blood in all of these things. See, look at that. It rehydrates right away. That actually literally almost bled out of here when out and up. And that's where the, uh, there's a tendon emphasis point under there. I have all of this stuff completely documented. I have videos on everything. 